Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Cineposium podcast. My name is Martin Ibarra Ramos. Every week, we invite a member or collaborator of Cineposium to curate and present on our show a film or films for remote viewing. If you follow our Instagram account at Cineposium and or our Twitter account at Cposium, you'll be able to keep up with our episodes published every Thursday, along with calls for audience questions and additional content of various forms related to the films we discuss. Last week, Michael Mazakane, Alex Apicella, and myself each presented a film under the theme of film adaptations. We had a lot of fun with that format, and it's something we may continue to do in the near future. Uh, we highly recommend you check out the episode and the films if you haven't had the chance yet. Next week, we'll actually be inviting a guest collaborator to present on the show, so be on the lookout for that next Thursday. For today's episode, our presenter is Symposium Chair Reed Williams. So without further ado, I'd like to invite Reed to share his presentation. Thanks for having me on the podcast, Martin. This week, I'm recommending a pair of Adult Swim shorts from filmmaker Casper Kelly. The viral sensation Too Many Cooks and Kelly's follow-up, Final Deployment 4. Cooks parodies 80s sitcom opening themes, uh, such as Full House, and Final Deployment parodies hapless video game streamers. There's a strong chance you saw Too Many Cooks when it swept the internet in November 2014. I have a confession to make. I totally missed it somehow. I caught up with it in 2018 only after a friend had introduced it to me. And that's partly what fascinates me about it. With a lot of viral videos, the moment in which they were released was crucial to why they became viral. It's funny to look back at the Sneezing Panda video and remember how crazy we all went for it at that time. But in the case of Cooks, the six-year-old 11-minute viral video somehow still resonates with me even after being late to the party. And it's not just me. The tech and entertainment site Inverse interviewed the cast and crew for an oral history of the video four years after its release. So why does Cooks have such staying power? And why is Kelly's second Adult Swim short Final Deployment not received the same level of attention? Nostalgia may be one reason why. Too Many Cooks starts with members of the Cook family cheesing for the camera while engaging in wacky activities, all to the tune of a maddeningly catchy theme song. As soon as we think the song is about to end, it just keeps going. And going. Those who remember sitcoms like Family Matters or Step by Step will immediately recognize the aesthetic Kelly is skewering. Nostalgia for past entertainment properties like these continues to be profitably exploited by television and movie studios, so we can contribute part of Cook's success to tapping into nostalgia. However, Kelly's brand of nostalgia has a much more uncomfortable and sinister streak to it. In the oral history referenced above, Kelly shares the origin of the project. Quote, I guess I saw an old sitcom with people smiling and looking at the camera in the opening. Something gave me a funny feeling looking at that, and I had the idea of continuing it for an uncomfortably long time, end quote. This funny feeling is a key part of Cook's. One of Kelly's early ideas was for the story to appear where the actors' names appear in the credits. He ultimately decided against it because he, quote, wanted it to wash over the audience as a feeling, end quote. The funny feeling Kelly describes isn't funny in the humorous sense, though the video is darkly comical. But as funny as it is, Cooks also induces feelings of dread and entrapment. The video takes a dark turn when the characters in the fictional TV show desperately try to escape the opening credit sequence as a creepy looking metafictional serial killer begins lopping off heads and cannibalizing cast members. To tie all of this to nostalgia, Vox critic Emily Vanderverf writes, living in the past in nostalgia for something you liked when you were younger is both a kind of youthful idealism and an inability to move past it. To become fetishistic about nostalgia is to become trapped by it and the internet has done nothing if not make us fetishistic about nostalgia. Though it's not as ambiguous, Final Deployment 4 is similar to Cook's in some ways, embracing the format of the very thing it's poking fun at. 
It starts with an obnoxious gamer, Blair Trigger, streaming a tutorial video of a popular first-person shooter. After showing viewers how to defeat a boss, he begins a walkthrough for the rest of the game, which entails playing through mundane activities such as labeling goods at a part-time job and sitting in a hospital waiting room. However, as the plot progresses, the video gets more and more meta. During Blair's walkthrough, we see the video game character he's controlling start to stream his own walkthrough for a game within a game. From there, layers and layers of characters who are also streaming games within games appear. A trippy, funny, but also terrifying exploration of free will. Deployment deals with a more contemporary medium and doesn't draw on the same unnerving nostalgia, which may explain why it hasn't received the same attention as Cook's. Also, it's twice as long, clocking in at 21 minutes. It's unusual for viral videos to even be 11 minutes, so it makes sense that deployment didn't receive the number of clicks Cook's did. Still, if you are drawn to Kelly's dark surrealistic vision of sitcom openings, you should also check out his take on video game streamers. You can find Too Many Cooks and Final Deployment 4 on Adult Swim's YouTube page. And as always, we'd love to hear your questions or comments about the films we recommend each week. So enjoy, and apologies if you have too many cooks stuck in your head for the next week or two. Perfect. Thank you, Reed, for that fantastic presentation. Um, I actually haven't seen either of these, so I'm excited to uh, give them a look. It's, they sound great. And uh, thank you to everyone who tuned in to this episode of our show. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to our show on Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, Overcast, or wherever you listen to podcasts. You can find a link to our profile page on Anchor in our Instagram bio. And please follow us on Instagram at Cineposium and on Twitter at Cposium. If you have any questions related to the presentation, feel free to DM us on either platform and we'll address them in our next show. And if you're interested in subscribing to our weekly e-newsletter, email us at cineposium.ucla at gmail.com. Thank you again for listening and thank you again, Reed. Until next time, take care, everyone.